Just a quick legal disclaimer, I did receive this as a review sample with the only expectation that I make a video on it. So I just wanted to make a quick video on how to either replace or change the direction of the fans on the Silverstone RCP2B-480. And you should have received an Allen key wrench with your fan when you bought it. If not, I would assume this is probably a fairly standard size and you can get um, a tool to take this apart from Harbor Freight pretty cheap. But there's three screws on the top and bottom that hold the faceplate on that you need to remove. And if it's your first time removing them, they might be a little stiff since the factory probably tightened them down nice and tight. Obviously, you don't want to crank them down too hard and strip the threads. Yep, that was nice and tight. You know how tight the screw fits kind of determines which side of the Allen key is easier to use. If you use the short side in the screw, then you get more leverage on it to break it loose, basically. All right. And this is just basically a piece of extruded aluminum that's a faceplate. So it just lifts straight off like that. Might not be a bad idea to uh, remove the dust shields first. And from the looks of it, this just uses a standard four pin fan. I'm not sure why the connectors are different colors. I would guess that's all because of the length. But I don't have. Yeah, we'll use my drill. So to remove these, it's just your standard. Um, coarse threaded screws that you use on fans. The nice thing about this compared to some of the other rack, mount of, rack mountable uh, fan assemblies that I've seen is some of the other ones that I've had and actually the ones in my rack they're riveted together so if you want to do something like this where you replace the fan or you change the direction of the fan, well, you're kind of out of luck unless you want to drill out rivets and then figure out how to reattach stuff. There we go. And if you're feeling crazy, you don't necessarily have to reattach these grills over the fans, but I probably will. And to get these fans out, you will notice there's a little bit of a lip and that's due to the dust filter to help guide it in place. So, just gonna disconnect these wires here. Basically, looks like you're gonna have to remove the PCB as well. This is my first time doing it. So, I'm gonna disconnect all the fans. Looks like they're using fine threaded screws, kind of like we'd see in a CD drive to mount the PCB. Also, <laughs> it's funny, apparently uh, one of my screws for this was uh, busted in an assembly, so there's no screw there, it's just the uh, remainder of it. A little bit of an oopsie there, I guess. And looks like there's a separate breakout board for the power connector to the fan speed controller PCB. I'm just gonna disconnect that. And once you get that out, you can just slide these out kind of diagonally, like so. 
And yeah, it looks like the white connector has a shorter wire on it. So you'll have to be mindful of that. But it's just basically a simple matter of flipping these around. And I don't know if these are labeled. And yep, there they are. So there's arrows on there to indicate which direction the airflow is. With the majority of fans until recently, the side with the label on it and with the, basically the back is the side the air comes out of. Um, thanks to PC builders not wanting to see these hubs or the back of these hubs. Um, there are fans now that are reverse airflow, so it's kind of confusing. But if you want to reverse the airflow of these, basically you just flip them around like so. I'll have to I'll rearrange the wires. And then you'll end up having to screw the PCB back in place and then hook them up. And then you'll have to remember the positioning. So the wiring uh, positioning will be slightly screwy because the wires aren't made for this fan orientation, but basically the uh, black fan wire goes on the outside and the white one goes on the inside connector, like so. And the assembly will just be reversing the steps. And I believe these should be standard wiring, so if for some reason you wanted to do a Noctua swap or whatever, I don't believe there's anything stopping you. But that's something I'm going to have to stop for a second and I can check pins. So since the pins on these fans aren't color coded, I grabbed a Dell fan just to show as reference. And this is the orientation that those connectors would be in. So the black wire is ground, the red wire is plus 12 volt, yellow is sense, and then blue is control. So that means if this is wired the normal way, and these are normal fans, I should be able to see 12 volts on the second pin from the right. So hopefully this doesn't get too angry about me having nothing plugged into it right now. Turn the fan speed up so I see voltage. And we're just going to carefully probe. I suppose you will want to see the meter as well. Try not to block it. Yeah, so these should be a standard pinout. And only one way to find out, which would be me risking my own hardware. I don't want that at full blast though, because this fan does spin pretty fast. So I should just be able to plug this in and it'll work. Oh, there is one difference. I don't know, maybe not. I'm gonna turn it off. It's not shorting out. Uh, that's weird. Okay. So one issue you are going to run into if you do a fan swap is the uh, little walls that stick out for orientation. You can tell it's just ever so slightly longer on the Dell fan than the original fan. So you might have to either shave or sand those down so it gets it fits the height requirements because I'm hitting the PCB right now. Yeah, you can finagle it, I guess. I just didn't want to break anything. All right, the start voltage was too low to get it spinning at the at the lowest speed. But as you can tell, a fan swap is totally possible if, for some reason, you want to use different fans. But depending on the fan you use, all right, stop. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Not sure why it's still spinning. Honestly, fan swaps may or may not be a good idea. So it's off right now, so the fan shouldn't be spinning. That one 
spun briefly. Interesting. But, uh, yeah, just some messing around there at the end. Hopefully that was helpful though. And like I said, pretty much to put it all back together, it's just the opposite steps that you did to get apart. Let's screw the PCB down with the four screws. Screw the screws in the fans to hold them in place. And then use the Allen wrench to screw the faceplate screws back on. But hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching.